The film's plot rolls with Diana. Diana is a cinematic tapestry woman with threads of desire, betrayal, and the intricate dance between fantasy and reality in the realm of human relationships. Set against the backdrop of modern-day Rome, the film explores the complexities of monogamy and the fragility of trust through the lens of its titular character Diana, portrayed by Claudia Call. At its core, Diana is a character study that delves deep into the psyche of its protagonist, a woman torn between the comfort of domesticity and the intoxicating allure of forbidden passion. Claudia Cole's portrayal of Diana is both captivating and nuanced, capturing the character's inner conflict with a raw intensity that resonates long after the credits roll. Diana is introduced to us as a seemingly contented wife, happily married to Paolo, portrayed by Paolo Lanza. Theirs is a relationship built on a foundation of mutual respect and affection. Yet beneath the surface lies a simmering discontent, a restless yearning for something more. It is this inner turmoil that drives Diana to seek solace in the arms of other men, embarking on a series of clandestine affairs that threaten to unravel the fabric of her carefully constructed life. Central to Diana's journey is her ongoing narration to Paolo, a deliberate ploy to inject excitement and passion into their otherwise mundane existence. With each tantalizing detail shared, Diana teeters on the edge of infidelity. Her encounters with the enigmatic lingerie shop owner Silvio, portrayed by Renzo Rinaldi, serving as mere preludes to more provocative liaisons. Renzo Rinaldi's portrayal of Silvio adds an extra layer of intrigue to Diana's web of deception. His suave charm and magnetic presence, drawing her ever closer into a world of temptation and desire. Yet, even as Diana succumbs to Silvio's advances, she remains acutely aware of the consequences of her actions, torn between the comfort of familiarity and the thrill of the unknown. The arrival of Antonietta, Diana's uninhibited lesbian friend, and Nadia, her raunchy sister, further complicates matters, pulling her deeper into a world of hedonistic pleasure and uninhibited exploration. Under their influence, Diana's dalliances evolve from innocent flirtations to daring acts of sexual liberation, pushing the boundaries of her marriage to the breaking point. Isabella Diana's portrayal of Antonietta is both captivating and provocative, her uninhibited passion serving as a mirror for Diana's own hidden desires. Similarly, Ornella Marcucci's portrayal of Nadia adds an extra layer of tension to Diana's already tumultuous journey, her brazen disregard for societal norms pushing Diana further into the realm of taboo. Yet, amidst the chaos of Diana's secret life, Paolo remains blissfully unaware, clinging to the belief that her tales are nothing more than elaborate fantasies spun to titillate their shared intimacy. It is only with the arrival of Donation Alpons, the enigmatic French antiques dealer, that Paolo's illusions are shattered, forcing him to confront the harsh reality of Diana's infidelity. Franco Bransiroli's portrayal of Donation Alpons is magnetic and enigmatic. His seductive allure, leaving an indelible mark on Diana both physically and emotionally. As Paolo's suspicions grow, Diana finds herself torn between her love for him and her insatiable hunger for new experiences, grappling with the question of whether true intimacy can survive the scars of infidelity. In the end, Diana offers a provocative exploration of the complexities of modern relationships challenging conventional notions of fidelity and monogamy. As Diana and Paolo navigate the turbulent waters of desire and deceit, they are forced to confront uncomfortable truths about the nature of love and the inherent vulnerability of the human heart. Through its richly drawn characters and intricate narrative, Diana invites viewers to reflect on their own relationships,